Hi, Greg, it's Clive. Clive who? Yeah, look, BMW's got me a ticket to the Ryder Cup, but I've got to go with a funny American. Uh, do you know any? No, I thought of you. I thought of you, Greg. Would you like to come? Awesome. Let's get it on, buddy. Hi, Clive. Greg. You got enough stuff there. How long are you figuring on staying for? Come on, right? All right? Well, you certainly looked the part for a golf tournament. I love the feeling of cashmere in the morning. It feels like victory. <laughs> are you a golfer? Um, I don't know if I'm a great golfer. My, my swing was described to me as like trying to kill a snake in a phone booth. I see you more in the Sean Ryder Cup. Oh? You know, getting a few drinks, crashing the buggy. Well, the great thing about sport, win, lose, or draw, is the taking part, isn't it? Well, I mean, that's the British part, isn't it? Taking part as opposed to winning. Pessimism is a happier state of mind than optimism. How can that be possible? Because if you're pessimistic, you're anticipating the worst things happening. But if a good thing happens, you're, this is fantastic. I never thought we'd win. But yet again, Europe has triumphed in the Ryder Cup. Because we've included a few German, Spaniards, French people, a bit more motivated nationalities, maybe. Well, if we yell USA, it distracts you because it shows enthusiasm. Yes. And in the hole! In the hole! Oh, really? Or USA! USA! In the pretty well covered it, haven't you? The British fans, they, yeah. they clap politely and then they have tea and then if you lose, they go home and they cry and if you win, they go home and they cry yeah. because they have to live here after. Look at this lovely view. Wasn't it a toss-up whether you'd Americans, you'd decide to speak English or, or German? In well, the end, you decided neither. <laughs> it's kind of warm and tepid and like uh, human waste, you know, it's not, it's not as, it's warm. Yeah. You have a pathological inability to complain if something's awful. Well, do you shower after you take a bath? No, of course I don't. You just get up out of the bath. Yes. And then you expect. I people towel to... myself dry. But you expect people to touch you after you've been in Clive water. Oh. <laughs> Did you go to the Charles Dickens finishing school? Can I have another chip, or or, or, um, or do you want them for your shoulder? Do you want some vinegar? Speaking of global warming, this beer it couldn't <laughs> be globally warmer. Well, I'm ready to go, but I want to. Uh, I want to wash my hands for you. Really. I can be quiet. I can, I can be quiet. Can if that's what you want. Well, I was, it's just an idea. W why is silence so important to you? Well, because it's a little contrast, doesn't it? If if you just spend your whole time jabber, 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 jabbering to no, maybe sit in comfortable silence, you, you might be able to enjoy it. So what, these sheep are Scottish too? So we're gonna have some music now? Yeah, do you mind? <laughs> yeah, this is what you like, right? I'm not sure this is the road to Glen Eagles. I feel we should have got there by now. No, I wanted the scenic route, but I also want to get there before I'm, you know, retired. So you have no idea where we are. You've got. To I, I have an idea. I have an idea where no, we are. No, you don't. You're my, lost. My, my, my... You're lost. This isn't going to end with you chasing me through the woods with a knife or something, is it? Hi. This is not too far from Glen Eagles, is it? It's not too far. You're not far to go. Yeah, is it, uh, is it in that direction or back the way we came? Uh, no, it's just keep oh, going. Oh, we're, the we're going, going the right way. You actually asked where to go? No, I didn't. I just made polite conversation. Are you still a comedian or have you found a job that sort of suits you? It's, that's a joke, right? And you get paid to do humor. Oh, no, that's right. You talk to people and are dismissive of them. That's your job. OK, we're here at last. Don't, don't, don't be too over the top, American. Don't be so stuffy. Maybe that. Stuffy? Yeah, stuffy. Stodgy. Stodgy? Yeah. Like a stuffed animal on a don't shelf. Don't be abrasive. You'd be met by a guy in a kilt. Men in dresses are one of my favorite things. I'm from San Francisco. 